I have no idea what I ordered. Oh, it's a return? Uh, look at that cap line, Russell guy. Go, whoa. Bro, I got the tan line of tan lines on but my head. But it's all returns, dude. Let me say, you, my, my, this mic being here is weird. Yeah, you gotta put on a hat. But I don't want to wear my hat because I cut my hair finally. I even fixed that spot that I missed. Oh, the ones I was picking the hairs yeah, out? Yeah, my little strays. <laughs> all right, let's get to work. Today is really the Shark Tank. I said that the other day on a video and I went all the way to Westwood High School. There was no Shark Tank. But today... In case y'all don't know, Chase has got a jillion things going on. Just a couple things. But uh, ADHD doesn't help. I've said that about 700 times this morning because I can feel it. Blame it on my ADD, baby. For sure. But I'm gonna go invest in some uh, young people's lives. Some young people's lives? No, we're not investing in anything. We're just mock investing. That's gonna be fun. What are, what are you about to do? I made this piece uh, last week and I'm going to glue this piece in so that if, the, if I or you or the next owner ever decides to change this rocker out, which is what it actually needs, they can take this piece out without a bunch of surgery. But this is a this is a fix for what we're doing. Uh, I just need to be able to mount the weather strip down there. For sure. And we're not getting into the body on this truck. That's the plan, is yeah. to not get into the body on this truck. Somebody wants to take it to the next level and make it a show truck. I'm on the level, I'm on my level. All right, let's get to it. So I need to go get panel bond. So you're going uh, to Killian's? I'm going to Killian's. 3M 8115 is a panel bonding adhesive that the body industry uses to glue panels on, glue parts on cars, and that's what I'm going to use to glue this into the truck. So I'm going to go to Killian's, and since the Cadillacs have potential buyers coming, I'm going to drive a Cadillac as many chances as I have. Hell yeah. I'm going to run over there and grab some glue. Cadillacs. I love the Cadillacs, but they may Cadillacs. have new homes. They may. Well, I just got back in this Cadillac, and Chase is stealing it. I am stealing it. I'm going to Westwood High School on this job. Well, I gotta take that glue back. Huh? I gotta take that glue back in a minute. Got your, my truck? Here. I'll take that Cadillac. Ha ha! Holla balla! All right, now that I'm back with the glue, I'm gonna show you what this product is. This is 3M's, oh, that's 8116. It used to be 8115, maybe it's a different formula. I'm not sure. And then you need this gun, because this is a two-part. It's got two tubes inside of there, and it mixes them in this tip. And I've got a new tip, because you can't reuse them once they dry, it's done for. So now I'm going to get this piece off that I've made. I need to be bare metal. This, this glue needs to stick to bare metal. Um, so I'm gonna clean up all the contact spots where this piece is gonna glue on. Glue this piece on. Take this glue back over there because it's lunch for those guys at the body shop and they may need it, so I need to get it back over there. Y'all come along, I'll show you how I do this process. So first thing first, I'm gonna make me a couple of marks where I know I need to grind at, uh, where, and I'm not gonna grind, I'm gonna use a Scotch-Brite wheel um, because grinding takes away metal. So I don't wanna take away any material that I don't have to, but I'm just gonna make me a couple of marks with the Sharpie. This is a Sharpie Pro, in case you didn't know. And I'm just gonna mark a couple spots where I need to grind and start grinding. So that's what I'm doing right here, making me a mark back here making me a mark right here and then i know everywhere else that i need it to glue to so 
That's the first step in this process. Then we're gonna pull this piece off, clean our material up, glue it on and clamp it, and we're wait 24 hours for the glue to dry. All right, got my material cleaned up. Bare metal is what we want. We will come back and paint this after we glue it, but we need bare metal. Let me show you the truck. You can see right there, I've got that piece of bare metal. And then everywhere along where the old drip rail used to be, I've put, I've made it bare metal, got this end piece down here bare metal. Now we're gonna fit this piece up. Well, first, 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 we're gonna set up our glue and our gun. We need to, when you, when you use this 3M glue that's two part, you need to prime the gun. So you're gonna wanna squeeze a good bit of it through that tip so that you get a good mixture coming out. So the first little bit's not gonna be mixed well. So you squeeze some out in the trash can or wherever you wanna waste it and get it mixed up. And you've got a long work time with this glue. So you've got at least an hour to work with it, but you've got enough time to work with the glue and get your piece set up and clamped in. Make sure you get it where you want it. So that's what I'm gonna do now is prime this glue, get my piece with glue on it, get it in there, get it set where I want it, clamp it in, and then it's a waiting game. So I brought the trash can over here so I can show you how this sets up. You always leave your old tip on there when you're done so that it can dry in this tip, but you don't want it to dry down inside of here. It mixes, starts mixing in here, but it's not mixed down here at the bottom. If you pull these tips off and leave this exposed, it's gonna dry up. And this is like 80 bucks for this tube. So you unscrew this tip. And I like to, you can see there's some little bit of dried up stuff there. I like to clean that off of there with the old tip. Then your new tip, brand new. You can kind of see those perforations inside there. Those are the mixing chambers where that glue, the catalyst and the glue itself mixes together. And by the time it gets out the end of this tip, it should be good and mixed up. You can see there's a little side and a big side. Your gun has a little side and a big side. And this just slides in right here like this, maybe slides in there and locks into place just like that. You wanna take that first bit, I'm gonna slide this camera a little closer and see if you can watch it come up this gun. You see it traveling up there? Well, on this side, it's traveling up and mixing. You just wanna squeeze some of it out into the trash can to make sure you got a good mixture. Then relieve your pressure and now your glue gun is ready to rock and roll. So let's go ahead and get this piece on the truck. I've got the piece clamped in as many clamp points as I can get. I took a bead of the glue and put across the bottom edge just to give it a couple more contact spots and filled in a couple of pits that would let moisture into the cab and it looks nice i'm happy with how it turned out for a patch repair i think it's going to be good once the glue dries we'll get it apart clean up the excess glue build up anywhere that there is get it coated with something to keep it from rusting and we're ready to put our weather strip back on there and put the rest of this inside back together so while that glue's drying I need to take this glue back to Killian's, to the body shop, so those guys can have it back. And many thanks to Killian's Collision for letting us use a little bit of stuff here and there when we need it, because we don't use a whole tube of this panel bond on a regular basis. So it's hard for us to have it sitting around the shop, but friendly body shops, they're awesome. They're awesome. So if you've got a friendly body shop, be sure and treat them well, take care of them and give them a shout out when they deserve it. But I, I'm gonna take this other Cadillac over there now because we're gonna drive them. We're gonna drive them until they're gone. I love them, you love them, we all love them. They're pimp. All right, so now that I got this piece glued in on the cab here, Chase is gone doing Shark Tank things at Westwood High School. I'm gonna get back in the engine compartment and try to relocate this computer. Um, my first step is going to be building a little bracket and this is a very crude imitation of what the bracket is going to look like, but I just need to get an idea of my shape. So I'm gonna go over here and cut this out of some 16 gauge sheet metal and try to get it bent up. And what we're really trying to do is I'm trying to take this computer right here and I've got the donor truck bracket that holds this computer on. And I'm gonna make this thing mount right here in the engine compartment, check it out. So my goal is to have it mount right there 
clearing the hood hinge and clearing the brake lines right there. And that'll put my lines coming out, my wires will all be coming out the back side here and they'll be nice and hidden. So I'm just gonna carry on with this process. So this is what I'm starting with. I took my cardboard template and bent me a piece. This is it. It's a little wonky little bracket. But the plan is to make that not gonna fit. Oh, it is curved. So I made a mistake. Now I gotta figure out how to straighten that out. So I'll just keep plugging away. I think I'm gonna bolt that onto the computer and then see what happens. I don't know, I'm just kind of winging it seeing what I can make. Here's my little bracket. You can see that white line there is where the computer bracket mounts. And I needed a little angle on it. So what I did is I split this bend. I split it so I could bend this piece over so it wasn't 90 degrees anymore. And I've got a mark here and I'm gonna tack that piece on just temporarily for now and then continue on making it all line up and fit. But the computer bolts onto these two holes and it should sit straight. We'll see. So there it is, temporarily. You can see that there's the factory mount and there's my bracket. I got some self tappers holding it in for the moment and I still need to build a brace because like right now you can see it's kind of floppy. But that clears my brake lines on this side, clears my hood hinge on this side and allows me access to my plugs on the back side so they should come in and come straight down and all that extra wire and anything, my relay box, all that stuff can go right here underneath the computer. So now I need to, on this, on this computer box, if you look down here, let's see, yeah, right there. There's the other mounting hole from the factory where it mounted. So I'm gonna build me a bracket, a nice bracket that comes down and that will box this in and give it rigidity. And then all I need to do is make some nice little gussets on the sides, clean up all the edges, take off any excess metal I don't need, and put me some thread setters in it so I can bolt it in. And then it'll be time to reroute wires. But that looks a lot nicer. It sits in here, it's accessible. It just takes a little bit of patience and a little bit of trial and error, because there's no, there's no guide for this. I know there's a lot of other ways to mount the computer. Uh, we got another truck in here, it's mounted horizontally or vertically. Um, I just wanted to do it like this, so that's how I'm freaking doing it. I've got the crude version of this, and now I just need to take it out, clean up my edges, weld everything up, clean the part up, Give it a couple of gussets. Just make it look nice. That's what I'm gonna do now. So check this out. Computer is nice and solid right there. We've got our upright right there. Coming up, bolted in here, bolts in here. And then I'll make some bolt mounts for here. Clean it all up, clean the edges up, put a couple gussets on it, drill some holes in it to make it look neat. And that gives us our function of what we actually need. And the computer is nice and accessible. All the wiring's gonna be in one spot. I think it'll look nice. Okay, so my day is winding down. My daughter has soccer practice, but I'm happy I made progress on the truck. I got the piece glued in to the door opening for the weather stripping to mount to. I got my mount made for the computer. I started getting the wiring harness moved across the truck. I'm going to have to unpin a couple of things so I can route these wires where I want them to so that it looks nice. Uh, once I get the fuse box and the relays where I can get them over here and build a mount for them also, 
Then I'll do the finalization on the mount for the computer, get all the wiring zipped up under there and real nice. And then it's on to the last few mechanical things on the truck with the most of the interior is done. I mean, we are nearing the end on this truck. I'm happy. I'm ready to move on to the next one. I'm tired of looking at this old crusty white truck and I'm ready to drive it around and do some burnouts. Don't y'all want to do some burnouts? Sounds like a blast. So anyway, thank y'all for coming along. Um, I hope that I'm informative enough for you. If there's anything you have questions on, please leave us a comment. Let us know. Um, I'll try to answer anything I can and tell you what I know. Like I said, I'm flying by the seat of my pants for most of the stuff I do in life and it's no different here and it'll be no different on the next truck. Everything I do is a new thing and that's how I like it. So y'all keep up with this. Like, subscribe, comment, follow us on all our social media platforms and we'll be back.